it's been overwhelming. We've been every day. It's it's something. Officer Jay Schroeder is keeping it short and simple. Police officers are having a tough time nationwide, and that's no different or potentially worse in St. Louis City. He knows it firsthand as he recalls gunmen shooting at police in downtown St. Louis following a protest in June. It was crazy. It was like self-preservation. I mean, we were buried. We had pulled out dumpsters. We were hiding behind dumpsters. Four officers were injured and retired police chief David Doran shot and killed just miles away. Just this past weekend, within hours of each other, police officers were involved in two shootings, one where an officer shot a suspect and another where a gunman opened fire on police. That 35-year-old officer is now recovering after a gunshot to the shoulder. I mean, it's crazy violent and I've never seen this before. I've never seen it like this before. This latest shooting of a police officer in St. Louis City marks the ninth officer shot since June 1st. It also tragically comes 15 days following the shooting death of Officer Tamaris Bohannon. Chief John Hayden is calling the attacks on police unprecedented. Meanwhile, the mayor had this to say. Never can remember a time we would have had, had nine police officers plus a retired officer, 10 in total. Um, shot and two died over just the last um, three plus months. We also see um, uh, a lot of criticism and disrespect of law enforcement. Officer Schroeder says morale is taking a hit and in these times there doesn't seem to be a solution. As president of the police association, the officer says he's hopeful somehow there will one day be a renewed bridge between law enforcement and the community. We have to continue uh, because the people in the city of St. Louis need us. I'm told from shoulder that officers are pleased with Chief John Hayden's response to recent events involving officers. He says it's going to take everyone in the community coming together, making sure that unity is made. For now, live here in South City, Darian Henderson, Fox 2 News.